And now an insider's take on Jeffrey Epstein's work release. Well, tonight, a Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputy who guarded the convicted sex offender more than a decade ago comes forward for the first time. That deputy could no longer stay silent after women came forward with new claims. Contact 5's Maris Badcock brings you the details you'll hear only on 5. What some say happened in this West Palm Beach high rise haunts a Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputy. Could it have happened when I was supposed to be monitoring him? Yes. Yeah, that kind of tugs at your heartstrings. This is the first deputy to come forward to the media with information about Epstein's time under PBSO's watch. So why are you doing this interview anonymously? Because I've seen her firsthand, the sheriff's office is very vindictive. This deputy was one of dozens in charge of guarding convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein while he was out on work release in 2008. So he was cordial, but in the back of my mind, I know why uh, he was there. I knew he was a convicted sex offender. The deputy says the difference in Epstein's work detail was in the details themselves. For starters, uh, when you signed up for that detail, it was a plain clothes detail. And that almost never, ever happened. So what else was unusual about this work detail? That he was allowed to leave the office and go to his residence to have lunch. I've never ever been to a detail where that was allowed to happen. We were to follow his vehicle in our own uh, sheriff's issued vehicle. I was told when he went to his house to stay in the driveway. So I don't know what happened behind closed doors when he went in his house and allegedly had lunch. You know, he could have been doing anything he wanted to during that time frame. So you have no idea what happened inside that home? No. That's one of the reasons I stopped working the detail. The deputy says they also weren't allowed to monitor Epstein past the reception area inside his business suite at this downtown West Palm building. I was just told to sit at the front. You have a log. Just log in whoever comes into the office. But when Contact 5 asked for a copy of the visitor log, PBSO Records told us it was destroyed according to their public records retention schedule. It sounds like the smoke and gun right there that's highly suspect, especially the sheriff's office where they keep records of everything. The log would help prove whether or not Epstein was allowed to have contact with anyone outside the scope of his business. I think the reason that the log is gone is because it would hurt the sheriff's office, not the victims. At the request of the sheriff's office, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is currently investigating the way PBSO handled Jeffrey Epstein's incarceration. The financier, who's been accused of sexually assaulting dozens of underage girls, only spent 13 months in the Palm Beach County stockade Eight of them out on work release. Who was working in his office? Looked like 20-year-old females, well-dressed, business attire. Did you think that that was strange, given the nature of his crimes? Yeah, well, I thought it was strange that I, besides me, uh, myself and Mr. Epstein, we were the only males in the office. I remember I took note of it mentally. Last month, two women came forward in New York City lawsuits with claims they were forced to have sex with Epstein while he was on work release, supposedly under the watchful eye of a sheriff's deputy. Do you know anything about that? Could it have happened? Absolutely, because he wasn't really in an environment where he could be monitored completely the entire time. The sheriff's office declined any interview requests, but sent us this statement in part. The allegations are factually untrue and or inaccurate. Due to the ongoing criminal investigation that is being completed by FDLE, no other response regarding these allegations will be given by the sheriff or PBSO. Despite the fear of retaliation, this deputy couldn't stay quiet any longer knowing what might have happened inside this high-rise haunts others too. And I only pray that when I was working this detail that it didn't happen on my watch, but I'll never know that. The deputy tells me no one in the sheriff's office openly discussed the detail, and at the time, there were never rumors about women being forced to have sex with Epstein while he was on work release, at least not until those women came forward recently with new accusations. And because Epstein was unmonitored most of the time, sources tell me deputies now wonder if it happened on their watch. Maris, thank you. You're welcome. Now.